The trouble relay can be used to send a signal through the change of state to another panel or notification device when any of the following occur on the VFR 400 panel. A panel fault, loss of AC power, loss of battery power, a complete loss of battery voltage or a reduction in voltage to 22 volts or less. Problem with the wiring? Any device not wired correctly or missing an end of line resistor. Disabled input. An increase of current to approximately 3.3 milliamps or programming the input as disabled. Disabled output. An increase in current to approximately 0.63 milliamps or a decrease to approximately 0.11 milliamps or programming the output as disabled. Loss of auxiliary power. Loss of output of the auxiliary power. The alarm relay can be used to send a signal through the change of state to another panel or notification device when any of the following occur on the VFR 400 panel. Activation of detection, activation of manual release, or water flow. The supervisory relay can be used to send a signal through the change of state to another panel or notification device when any of the following occur on the VFR 400 panel. A supervisory condition caused by low air pressure or by valve tamper. The water flow relay is initiated upon activation of the water flow output only. When wiring any device to the inputs of the panel, a 5.1K end of line resistor needs to be installed across the last device. One end of line resistor is provided for each circuit of the panel. When an input or output is not being used, a 5.1K end of line resistor needs to be installed in the unused circuit. When wiring the solenoids, an end of line diode assembly needs to be used. Two end of line diode assemblies are provided with each panel. When wiring the end of line diodes to the solenoid, the black wire of the diode needs to be connected to the negative side of the circuit. The red wire on the end of line diode will then be connected to one of the red wires on the solenoid. It does not matter which one as the solenoid is not polarized. The other unused red wire on the solenoid is then connected to the positive side of the circuit. The green wire on the solenoid is unused. To enter into the programming mode, first you will need to push the switch down from run to program. In program mode, there are three of the white buttons which are used to program the panel. The function button. Function cycles through the different functions without changing how the existing is set up. The select button. Select scrolls through the different options within the current function. The set button. The set button will set the current display to memory. The first function in program mode gives you the option to view the history. The set button will scroll through the history forwards, while the select button will allow you to scroll backwards. The function button will exit the history and continue to the next function. The second function gives you the option to set the date and time on the panel. With the proper date and time set, you will be able to view the history and know the exact date and time at which any of the events in the history occurred. To change the time, Press the select button. The set button will decrease the minutes and the select button will increase the minutes. Once the minutes have been adjusted, press the function button to switch to hours and set the hours with the same button selection as minutes. Continue the process above to set the day, month, and year. When finished, press the function button to move on to the next function. Each panel leaves the factory with a default password of 000. To get past this section at the initial setup, just press the set button three times to confirm the password of 000. 
If this is not the initial setup and a password has already been set, once you know the password that was set, use the select button to scroll through the numbers until the desired number is shown and then press the set button to scroll to the next number. If the wrong password is entered, you will see a message to push the programming switch up. If the password that was entered at the setup is lost or forgotten, please contact Viking. After the correct password is entered, you will see a display that allows you to enable or disable any of the zones, inputs, and outputs. At this point, when using a preset program, you will not want to adjust any of these settings as later on when you select your program, these will all be preset. The only time you would adjust any of these would be if you were setting up a custom program. At this point, press the function button two times until you see system mode on the screen. This allows you to toggle between normal and one man walk test by using the select button. The system mode needs to be left on normal and only changed to one man walk test for purposes of testing the panel. After the one man walk test has been performed, switch the system mode back to normal. By default, if the system mode is left on one man walk test for more than 30 minutes with no activity, the panel will automatically switch back to normal. After pressing the function button, you will see the display for the program option. Pressing select, you can scroll through each of the programs to select the one that is desired. Pressing set will activate the program that is displayed and set all the zones, inputs, and outputs to the preset program that is selected. If a fire cycle program was selected, you will now be asked to set the desired soak time for the system. The setting is adjustable in 30 seconds to 1 minute increments from 30 seconds to 20 minutes. To adjust the time, press the select button until the desired time is displayed and then press set. Press the function button after selecting the program. The final step in programming the panel, if desired, is setting the banner message. At this point, if you do not want to change the banner message, pressing the function button will continue on to the next function. To set the banner message, press the set button to scroll forward through the letters, numbers, and punctuations, or the select button to scroll backwards. Press the function button to move on to the next character once the desired character is displayed and to reach the last character input once the message is set. Once all the characters have been entered, the password screen will show up again. At this point, if you want to change the password, you can, or leave it the same. To leave it the same, press the set button three times to scroll through it. To change the password, you will need to press the select button on the first number until the desired number is shown, and then press the set button to continue on to the next number. This will set a new password, so anytime the panel needs to be programmed in the future, this new password will need to be entered to gain access to the programming options. When finished, press function. The display on the panel should now read, push programming switch back up. The programming switch can now be pushed back up to run. The panel will now be set up as per the desired program that was selected. This concludes our demonstration for the VFR400 release control panel.